Hello, this is Charles Herring, Chief Technology Officer for WITFU. We're going to take a few minutes to look at the CrowdStrike integration with WITFU Precinct. Uh, CrowdStrike brings a great amount of endpoint information, including malware detection and asset information for the endpoints. Um, in today's uh, demonstration of the integration, we're going to query the Falcon API, the query API, uh, via the integration, pull in the detections and asset information, and then look at uh, the detections that Evidence Locker, which Evidence Locker are catching by looking uh, by pouring over syslog and NetFlow records to create a single incident. So to turn on the integration, we just go to Admin and Settings, uh, go down to CrowdStrike, uh, flip on the integration, plug in the API server, which is going to generally be falconapi.crowdstrike.com, unless you're directed otherwise by CrowdStrike uh, support. You're going to plug in the user ID and the key or password uh, for the Falcon Query API. And so uh, be sure to ask for Falcon Query API. There's also Streamer API um, and others that are available, but in this case we're using um, the Query API. So once that's switched on, you plug in the data, you, you'll get a check mark after you hit save. And as soon as you hit save, Witfu Precinct is now reaching out to the Falcon API and pulling in those detections and asset information and stitching together incidents. Here, incident number eight is created uh, by bringing together a WITFU and CrowdStrike information. So here at the top, uh, we've clicked on uh, this host in the incident, and we can see that CrowdStrike detected malware. In this case, three different uh, uh, binaries were detected uh, using uh, two different sets of credentials. The uh, score, the suspicion score on this particular host is pretty high because the false positive ratios on CrowdStrike detections are very low across the industry. In addition to the detections on the host, we can click on uh, the pieces of malware and we'll see related incidents where this particular binary, and again this hash came in uh, via uh, the, uh, the CrowdStrike uh, data, we can see any incidents that uh, also possess this, this binary and we can click into it and see uh, that as well. Um, you can also observe the uh, time frame or the connections that are happening, uh, both network and session data that are occurring uh, inside of this incident uh, by leveraging the data that's inside of Evidence Locker, the session information and the connection information. We did note that uh, an SSH brute force occurred after this machine was infected uh, against this machine, so it was attempting to SSH brute force in and we're able to see both the network connections and the syslog coming from uh, this particular host inside of Evidence Locker to stitch all of that together. So by leveraging the data inside of CrowdStrike to look at what's happening inside the endpoint, to look at uh, malware detections and user sessions, and then uh, augmenting that with the syslog information that's coming from different hosts around the network and the metadata from NetFlow about communications, we're able to, we're able to draw this picture of malware being deposited onto the machine, the credentials that were using it, and the subsequent network behaviors that occurred, in this case, SSH brute force. Um, so this has been a quick demonstration of the uh, integration between WITFU Precinct and uh, CrowdStrike. Be sure to let us know what you think. Thank you.